how to set up shipping properly for your free plus shipping offers on Shopify. Now, this comes to me a lot in questions on social media, a lot, tons and tons and tons of questions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a minute and we're gonna explain this two different ways. One, we're gonna explain it through making, having made mistakes, which a couple of us were talking about. We talked about your first product sale, you normally would jump up and down excited, but your first product sale was zero, meaning- I made 20 cents. So. Free, free shipping, <laughs> it, was, it was free shipping, but then check this out, but it means zero like this, watch, free shipping, and then you put in your address to calculate shipping rates, you put in the address and it still was zero. So the customer was able to literally buy the product for zero. And he had to sh still ship the product to them. Or he didn't have to, but he did. You have a lead. He actually didn't have to. He probably could have told him, hey, listen, you gotta pay for the product if you want it. But um, it, there's a lesson to be learned there. So I figured what I like about that story is you took action regardless, you learned something along the way. I would rather take action and learn along the way than to have all of these potential worrying stop me. So I like that action. Then we were talking though, and a very similar thing happened to you, and right. I thought your story, we could use your computer, and we could explain the three areas mm -hmm. inside here that you wanna change. So let me set this up, let me have Melissa walk you through this. Inside of your Shopify store, which like 99% of you said you already had one, you go over here to your settings, okay? You, go, you have all these options on the left, right? You see all these options on the left over here? The one on the bottom is settings, okay? Click settings, okay? When you click settings, there's all these settings you can have here. Click shipping. You should be here, settings, shipping. Now, we're on the second box down. The first box just had our address. I figured we'd skip past that. The second box down is um, zones, actually, sorry. The second box down is carriers. And I never thought this was an issue because I thought that this defaulted to the proper setting, but it turns out it well, didn't. Right, it's, it's um, enabled. Uh, especially with the second, um, it's, it's interesting, with the lower priced subscription to Shopify, it's not enabled. And that's where I started, but then starting with our Techademics link, when I, I, so I started a new store, it's, it encourages us to do the $79.99 plan. It is enabled there, so I didn't even think to go back and look at that. And so the, the sale that I made, uh, that was enabled as well, and so what it did was my customer was in California, and I'm in Arizona. So he just did a uh, carrier calculated, oh, from Arizona to, to California, it's gonna be $2.20. And so it showed that rate plus my, I think I had $7.95 for my free, free plus shipping. Um, so it showed him both. And of course he's gonna pick the $2.20, um, which I would do. Um, and I, you know, I'm gonna honor that obviously. But when I called them, they said, oh, you have that enabled, and it's default, default enabled. So you just have to go into carriers and make sure that that's disabled if you're gonna use weight-based rates. Okay, so let's talk about that. <clears throat> Again, we're not gonna spend a lot of time on shipping, and some of you probably already have this figured out. But number one, there's two types of ways that you could do shipping on Shopify. You could do it kind of price-based, based on the price of the product. You could do it weight-based, based on the weight of the product. You should, since, since most of you are beginners and aren't making a lot of money here and you just, simple is better than anything, just do weight-based. Don't do price-based at all. Just do weight-based for now. You can always change later. For right now, do weight-based only. Do not do anything price-based. So when it comes to shipping, all shipping is weight-based. You're gonna set up rules based on the weight of the product. Now, when you come here to carriers, make sure it says activate shipping estimates, which means that it's, de that means it's deactivated. You would have to activate it. If this says, if, if this is not, does not say activate shipping estimates or whatever it says deactivate. It'll show like USPS uh, as a picture in there. It'll show the USPS logo. Then you know that it's active. So deactivate that. Because then you're giving your customer an option, a secondary option of, of getting estimates for shipping. You want to do flat rate. You want to have one flat rate of shipping. Because you, you, you have a strategy where shipping from China to the United States is going to be a flat rate. So, you're gonna to wanna to have, you're gonna just be accepting 9.95 and, and shipping it. So just deactivate that, that's number one, very simple. Just, but just to be clear, does everybody understand that? Okay, just make sure that it's not activated. It's not too difficult. That's the very first thing, other than your address, that's the first thing you should see. Now I'm gonna skip zones and rates and let's go all the way down past zones and rates and let's go down to packages. packages. And let's talk about this now, I hadn't seen this default and now again, the, sometimes I, bre I go through this stuff so fast, like I said, I can't be an expert in all things. It didn't dawn on me that your default settings might be different than mine, right? Your screen might be different. 
Your default settings didn't have a weight of zero. No, they're, it's 0 0.4125 by default. Everybody starts with 0 0.4125. And what I was finding is that when you make different iterations of your weight-based shipping, it really messes things up <laughs> to have that in there because it, it skews the math. And so, and it took several of us several gurus to figure out what was wrong. So it's not, even Shopify didn't understand what we were trying to say at first until I, we both found the, the right person to say, oh, you just have to make your box weigh zero and then all your weights will make sense and it'll just go by the weight. So all you do is just click on that sample box um, and go in and make it zero. You have to just adjust it to zero and save. That's all you have to do. 0, 0.0 pounds, save, okay? Right. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna make that we're gonna change that to weight zero. Okay. <coughs> Under packages, setting shipping packages, weight zero. So there's just two steps that we've just given you. Deactivate the um, deactivate the carriers. carriers, and for packages, set the weight to zero. Is this so far? Is this easy enough for everybody to understand? Okay. Yeah. Now, this next part is, is a little bit more complex. Um, it's called shipping rules, okay? Now, there's apps that do this. There's an app called Better Shipping App. There's apps inside the marketplace that simplify this because it can be confusing. We're gonna really quickly give you a basic formula for doing it manual, um, but, um, and you've got, uh, and we're gonna talk about the three different things. There's shipping rules you wanna give to free plus shipping products, because you just want flat rate. And then there's shipping rules you want to give to all your regular retail products. And then a third set, which is where it starts to get confusing, is what if people have a combination of both? What if they get a free plus shipping product and then they decide to add another regular cost product to the cart? Right. You're doing weight-based shipping, okay? Which means that you have to give it a rule that says if, some, if, a customer order offer, if, if a customer puts in a free plus shipping product and a regular product, how much should you charge in shipping? So these are called rules. Now, two things before we get into this. One, there's an app, Better Shipping. There's apps out there, probably several of them now, that help demystify this and make it simple for you. Definitely recommended. Number two, Techademics now, through our new Shopify link, Techademics is uh, Shopify sharing store information with us, especially when our new app launches, which means we get to find out what the biggest problems are that all of our members are experiencing. That allows us to build solutions into our app. So already, looking at the shipping thing, seeing how many people are confused about this, yeah. I'm just thinking, right at the top, setting, shipping, and then be like, use Techonomics defaults or something. Yes. You just click a button, and it's all set for you. How cool would that be? Hallelujah. So, <laughs> so for the sake of watching this, if, if you guys are watching this as a replay inside of the members area, chances are Techonomics has an app that probably solves this in the very near future, okay? And if not Techademics, there's probably a better shipping app out there. And if not that, there's a way to do it manual, okay? Which we'll kind of kind of walk through. We just don't want to get too confusing. Yeah, I need to set up my um, the extra rules. I don't even have them all. So she has. So she has. You have currently set up. You have free plus shipping, mm -hmm. and then you have if they just order a retail Standard. product, right. and then the next set you're going to add is free if plus shipping and retail yeah. combination. And, and just so you guys know, for people that are like new to this, it's probably good to mention that. Um, I use Shopify app like many of you do. You can do in your settings, this will save you so much. Um, I, I figured this out with our team. If you, in your settings for Shopify app, if you just weigh everything at a pound, it'll import everything you import from Ali or wherever, whatever store you're importing from will already be weighed as a pound. So you don't have to go in and change, oh, I forgot to change the weight because that's really going to mess you up otherwise. If you, um, then the only thing you have to change is if you're doing a free plus shipping offer, then change that to point one. And that way, it, it, the, you, with your rules, you've told it, this is how you're going to um, charge for your shipping. So in your, if, it'll save you a lot if you set up in your settings. And you can even set up verbiage that you want in every um, description, like you know, limited time only, not found in stores, that kind of stuff. You can actually add all of that, so it automatically gets put Every time you bring one in, it, it, it saves you a lot of time. Um, and, you know, we're always preaching to save time. So Okay, so in this, the, the Shopify she's app. She's talking about a third-party third app. Yeah. Right. There's third-party apps. All this, but the Shopify app isn't even really, regardless of the app, 
there's, there's a principle. The Shopify app could go away tomorrow or a right. new app could replace it's better. The principle is, the very, very base principle is when you're adding products to your store, you have to decide how much you're going to charge in shipping. It's either going to be based on the price of the product or the weight of the product. But you're not actually having inventory. Right. So how much does a product weigh? See what I'm saying? So what, what all she's saying in very simple terms is you have to assign it a weight. If you want to sell that little banana uh, thing, give it a weight of one pound. Okay, is it a pound? Who knows? I don't know. It's probably not. Okay, give it a weight of a pound. That way it assigns a shipping rate to it. Okay, that's why. So every product you add to your store, you're going to, change, you're going to add a product picture, you're going to add a name, a description. You also got to give it a weight. So you go with weight-based shipping. Okay, weight-based shipping is better than price-based shipping because you're not doing any of the shipping. This whole thing we're, doing, we're talking about is drop shipping. Okay, so um, it's just, we're just trying to, we're trying to take a complicated thing that people used to spend $20,000 to website designers to design them an e-commerce site, okay? And then they have to order $100,000 of inventory into a little warehouse. And then they have to hire somebody to do shipping labels and inventory uh, and keep accounts of it all and ship this. I mean, this is the business. This is, 10 years ago, none of us was gonna, were going to do this. It's too complicated. So there's only a few little weird little tweak little obstacles you have to get over, such as understanding shipping. So all we're saying is, um, go with weight-based shipping, okay? Which means you have to assign a weight to every item you add to your store. Now she's saying there are some apps that can kind of default, you can set a default. Whatever item you import to your store, make it one pound. Okay, so let's talk about two very specific types of weights. There's products that you're gonna do free plus shipping, and then there's products you're gonna retail. Those are two different weight metrics. Products that are free plus shipping, you're gonna do point something, like 0.1. But products that are weight-based, you're going to do 1.0. So it's like 0.1 for free plus shipping, 1.0 for weight-based shipping. And don't worry, we're going to show you. For retail products. We're going to show you for retail products. So we're going to show you the two. There's the, on a, if you're going to do it yourself without any apps, there's really three categories of shipping rules you're going to assign. Category one, free plus shipping. Category two, retail shipping. Category three, combination of the two. Okay. And it can get very complicated. Like when I was sitting down with Lawrence Aponte, we went through like these crazy calculated rules that he has. Lawrence is like, depending on how advanced you want to get with story, he had, he had a, a huge massive set of rules and he was teaching these rules. And it gets very complicated. So it requires like one-on-one -on -one coaching and stuff like that. We're going to give you a very simplified version right now to at least start getting your first sales, okay? Very simple. This is not the holy grail of shipping. It's not a shipping tutorial. So let's go through set one, what you did for free plus shipping. And, and you can limit it to how many, like I limited mine to four, you can do six or whatever and just have, you know, um, give them a little bit of a price break. As explain, you explain the limit, like really like basic. What do you mean by a limit? So the, the limit being that um, if you have one item, it's going to be 0.1 to 0.1. If you have two free items, if they buy two of them, 0.2 to 0.2. So the one item, you might be, it might be 7.95. Some people do 9.95. If they do um, two items, you're going to you know, increase that amount that you're going to charge them, but maybe give them a slight break to encourage them to buy two. If they buy three, then um, it's 0 0.3 to 0 0.3, and you're going to you know, jump it again, your price as well, and, and four, and however many you want to do. If I have four in my description, I say limit four per customer. Okay, so what she's talking about, let's go back to like that little Mr. Banana thing, okay? Um, which, by the way, I'm not encouraging everybody to advertise with that because if you recall in the beginning I said this is something you probably get your account banned. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of a funny example though. Hopefully, like people watch that live stream are probably going to go get their accounts banned. It's going to yeah. be interesting. It's all Chris Record's fault. 15,000 people watched it and I bet you they missed that part where I said this is, probably will get your account banned. Okay, so what she's saying is you got this little Mr. Banana. You're going to give it away for free. Well, what if somebody goes and I want a thousand of those? But if you don't set up this rule, they might only pay $9.95 shipping and go get 1,000 of them, or more realistic, 10 of them. Now, if your cost is only $3 and you're charging $9.95, there's profit. But if your cost is $3 times 10, you've just paid $30, they've only given you $9.95. You just lost $20. So you have to put a limit to how many free items they can get from you. So what you do is you go and you put like limit four. That's a good limit. Why would you want them to get more than one? Because a lot of people go, oh my God, this is an unbelievable offer. 
they might go, I want two or I want three. You can charge them more in shipping. And what Melissa is saying is that instead of just charging them double the amount for shipping, so let's say you're charging $9.95 for shipping, instead of charging $19.95, if you order two, you can give them a discount. This will slightly motivate them to get two or three or four, but you really want to cap it. So just simple terms, I like what she's done here. In very simple terms, here's what she's done. She's maxed out four. Yes, I'll give you this item for free. Limit four per customer. Also, limitations are always good. It makes yeah. it more scarce. Yes. The second thing is she's giving you a slight incentive. Now, she's chosen $7.95 shipping and handling, which is fine. I may change it. <laughs> as long as you're, it's, it's completely fine, as long as your margins are there. Yeah. If, you're, if you're tinkering around on products that your cost is 4 to $5, then you're, you have barely any money for ad spend, you're probably not going to be profitable. But if you're messing around with products that are like a dollar and then a dollar fifty shipping and handling, you're only two fifty. Seven ninety five is great. So I generally go with nine ninety five. Seven ninety five will convert some more sales than nine ninety five, but it's also less margin. What she's done is she's basically said, so let's say eight bucks. Let's round up to eight bucks. Eight dollars times two is sixteen dollars. She's discounted at a dollar. If you order two, she takes a dollar off shipping, right? So now it's fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars plus eight would be what? Twenty three dollars, right? She's discounted even more significantly instead of $23. She's got $19.95. Now she's giving you a huge incentive if you get three and then only an extra $5 if you get four. So what she's saying is that she's got some sort of number sequence. Now she told me right before she got up here, she said, well, I actually just might change all this. So yeah. this, she's not, this is no way her recommending that this is right. what you should do. Yeah, don't just copy it just because it's there. You may <laughs> and also Melissa's new. She's done a, yeah. like a sale on her store. It's not like she's up here teaching and preaching the, as a guru. But um, the, uh, you guys get the idea? The idea is an escalated discount. A simple way to think about it could be this. You guys want a basic thing? What I did when I first started was I started with $9.95 of shipping. And what I did was I doubled it and then took a dollar off for the next one. Then I, then I, then I, then I just added another $9.95, took $2 off. So basically it was like $9.95. If you add another one, it's an additional $8.95. If you add another one, it's an additional $7.95. If you add another one, it's an additional $6.95. That's kind of what I did. And, it, and the numbers kind of looked good, and I, it's enough of a discounting, you know, it still gets people to do it, okay? It's kind of weird when people buy it, they're like, wait, shipping is $24.95 yeah. on four things? It's odd, but don't worry. It's like most people won't do that, and if they do, they understand it, okay? You can also put it in terms if you need to. Limit four, just pay shipping and handling on each item, okay? So what, this, this point thing, I don't think people, I don't think everybody really needs to understand the logic behind it so much. We're begin, most people are beginners here. The main thing is just point one to point, the main thing is just get it right, right? Mm -hmm. you, point one to point one. Yeah, I mean, you're just telling it that this is a free plus shipping item. That's all. Okay, so when you guys go in to edit, okay, when you go in to edit this, and if it's, the internet's too slow, I'm just going to tell you. Yeah. Okay, when you go in to edit, Notice she's got price base rates. Yep, see how she doesn't mess with that? Don't mess with it. Okay, so see she's got her items here. Now, one free item dash insured shipping. If you guys were at the conference and if you saw John Alfredson, it's just something he recommended. She might have heard it from somebody else too. Just using the word insured Thanks. helps add like more customer satisfaction, more customer. And in the, you can actually insure it yourself. So like it's insured as in like if it doesn't show up, I'll, I'll make sure it gets to you. I'll insure it. Mm -hmm. So she put insured. She also put one free item because she's only going to use that for free plus shipping items. So if you order one, it's insured. It's 0.1 to 0.1. So 0 0.1 to 0 0.1, and then you choose an amount. Most of you will probably choose 9.95. If you can choose 7.95, you'll get better conversions if you have the margin. Then she went down and did two free items, three free items. Four. All she did was copy it, add another. So it's just pretty much like this, you know. And then she would have like five free items. I don't remember what she said. It was insured like insured shipping. 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 See? That's all she would do. And five and five. Okay. So, um, and you're going to go in here. Minimum order weight, maximum order weight. Now, zero to 25. Imagine if you didn't, imagine if you just left it like this. You see, like, this, this is, believe it or not, some people have a slight oversight on this, but also people just don't understand, right? So all, all we're saying to do is just add a decimal point and then a 0.5. But then you also got to go over here and do it. 
See that? So you're doing flat rate. So you're basically saying, point if it's 0 0.5 to 0 0.5, then charge this amount of shipping. Now, how would somebody ever get to 0 0.5? None of your products in your store are gonna weigh 0 0.5, although they could. You could actually assign a weight for 0 0.5 if you want it. But that's not what we're doing here. The only way they would get to that is if they had 5.1 items in the cart, five free shipping items. That's the only way they would get there. Yeah, they explained it to me in the way is that your cart weighs things. So I, it's like I had a picture of a cart, you know, like weighing, oh, well, five items are in there and they, they weigh 0.5. Mm -hmm. so. Shopify has tutorials on this stuff too. The only difference, the only reason Shopify doesn't have like our world of tutorials is because Shopify is more designed for business owners who actually have inventory. Whereas we're really kind of capitalizing on drop shipping from China. Very different kind of concept. So Shopify is not going to go out of their way to teach how to, how to set up stores and drop ship from China. They are not going to do it. They're going to really treat you like you own like a small mom and pop shop. So you got to kind of deal with that. But that's it. All you got to do, look at five free items, insured shipping. There you go. 0. And then you 5. say 5. free shipping rate. Now, down here at the bottom, what you've got to do is you've got to determine how much. Now you would have some sort of a sliding scale. I forget what your scale was, but it was yeah, like, like so twenty four ninety five was thirty what I bucks did or with, something. With, uh, for four, so yeah, so it'd be like twenty eight ninety five. Yeah. Now, of course, she's got to protect herself though. She's got to make sure there's enough margin and profit. But so you're gonna basically choose this. So, what would you? No, I don't know if I don't want to add this for you if you don't want it. Well, I mean, I can just go back and. Okay. Go so ahead. so is the, I want to make sure. So I wanted you up here too. Is this how you would do it? Yes. Okay. I actually did what you just said. I copied it and then I just changed the number. <laughs> I just copy and paste, copy and paste. Okay. Change the number. So tell everybody down here. So rate, free shipping rate, rate amount. Right. So since the last one was twenty four ninety five, you know, like maybe you would make it twenty eight ninety five or twenty nine ninety, you know, depending upon what your graduated scale was. Yeah. You've got to have a margin though. Okay. So. I think twenty eight ninety five coming from twenty four ninety five would only make you an extra four dollars on that. Wouldn't yeah. be worth it. So twenty nine ninety five. But yeah, so you got to figure out what your what your rate is. But it's just like that, okay? Now, do you check your free shipping rate box or not? Uh, free ship. That's to give them um, free shipping. So you, you don't want like you can do that if you do like free shipping over seventy five dollars or something like that. Mm -hmm. Which I started doing that stuff, but then I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to really mess this up. So. For beginners, it's probably not a good idea to, to do that right away um, because it, that really messes with you. I started, oh, I got this great shipping bar. I could say free shipping over 75. I was all excited and then I went, that is really gonna mess with my rates. And so unless you use an app, I don't recommend doing that. That is, I mean, it's, it's a nightmare. So I would say just unless you're using an app, uh, like, an, and when you're beginning, don't even bother with that. But if you down the road, the only time you would use that is if, let's say, you did free shipping over seventy-five dollars um, or a hundred dollars or whatever, and then then you would tell it that if it's this sweet. Yeah, and there's don't get me wrong, definitely ways to do it. So I, I liken it to I liken analogies to everything. When I first learned how to play golf, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and all I realized was, okay, you got to hold the club a certain way, you got to keep your arms a certain stiff, you got to bend over a certain way, you got to make sure you're curling at the hips, you got to keep your arms straight, keep your head down the ball, you've got to be able to hit the ball, you got to have a club, you got to choose the right kind of club to go the right kind of distance, then you got to be able to do it swing. And suddenly, that's a lot to think about. So if I have to think about all that, you know what's going to happen? I'm just going to get up and shank the ball. It's too much to think about. But if I can slow down and think about just a couple basic things, right? then I can begin, eventually I can start thinking about all that stuff. And that's kind of like an analogy where, yes, your site probably will at some point have a multitude of products and different shipping options and everything. But in the beginning, if you are not able to flip $5 ads for profit, none of that matters. And worst case, you make a mistake, cost you five bucks or 10 bucks, five bucks, yeah, 10 bucks. And we learned about it, and learned, learned from, from it. it, yeah. And I'd rather do that. So anyways, then all you do is you click done, I don't know if I clicked it done or not. Yep, your your mouse was okay. There it is. And there it is. Now she could change limit to five if she wants. Yep. Okay. Do we all at least for basic getting started? Do you all understand? Put in four items. You could put copy her, but change the shipping amount to whatever you want. You want it to be. Like I did nine ninety five, and then whatever it was plus eight ninety five plus seven ninety five plus six ninety five, and that was it. Does everybody in here understand this enough that they feel comfortable? If it's a question, make it brief because we don't have mics o over there. Okay. No, I just didn't know how to get to the message. I got the setting shipping, but I didn't figure out how to add the rate. 
You, you hit edit next to the domestic. You okay. hit edit. We're in the edit screen right now. So let me go back. Let me save it. So now I'm in shipping. So next to. See zone name domestic. Okay. And then edit. Okay. Yeah. Shopify told me. Um, we don't have the mic, remember, so we'll make it quick. To, uh, like, if you're going to have a free shipping. Oh, it's all right. Like, no, all no. my products are free shipping except for the cost, except for the free product plus free shipping. And so they have me just put zero, zero for the weights, but click that free, free shipping button. Okay. There's probably ways to do it. Okay. So it just gets so convoluted. And so that's a thing. And that's the, what, you know, Chris has always taught me too is like, oh my gosh, yeah, there's ways to game it all over the place. But for a brand new person, that's just, let's just convert the ads and sell some things. And then we'll start to add exactly. the levels. So, so going back to my disclaimers in the beginning, there's probably a smarter way to do everything. But this way here, at least we can all get our first you know, $1,000 in profits and then start doing it the smart way. But this is like the easy to understand way that the masses can begin to do this. And then you can begin to figure out smarter ways to do it along the way. Um, I've had almost all my Shopify stores set up for me. You know, I'm the kind of person that I'll sit in a class, I'll learn about it, but then I'll sit there and go, do I really even want to take the time to do it? And so I'll just pay, I just like, I'm gonna like, hey, pay somebody to set it up for me. So I, I don't even know half this, like, <laughs> I mean, honestly, like you, I can go log into stores and I can see how it's all. If I was going to set up a store from scratch, I would log into another store and just like mirror and match it. You know, I just do I have it right? But I never took the time to because when I got involved in Shopify, I was already making money. I had already made over a million dollars before I ever had a Shopify store. Um, so I just like leverage money. You know, at some point, pay people to do this stuff for me. Right now, we're just trying to teach you so you have a basic understanding that we can grow from. We're going to do a Q&A session next. If the question cannot wait, we're just going to go through the rest of shipping. If it, can't, if it cannot wait, I'll do it right now. If it can wait. Uh, other countries. We've got four other countries. That okay. You don't want to yeah. ship to those. Okay, so, so real quick. The question was other countries. Okay, again, going back to my methodology. My methodology is that I'm unique. I'm a trainer who teaches literally beginners. Fun story. The last, I don't have a car anymore, okay? I know. So, uh, so that's not the fun part of the story. You're entertaining actually. Uber drivers across the valley. But I have Uber drivers, and so far, 100% of the Uber drivers, and 100% 100 of the rides, every single person has wanted to get involved in e-commerce. 100% of the time. There's literally, I've had maybe 10 or 15 Uber drives around here. 100% of people, they just ask what I do. Everybody wants to get involved in e-commerce. E-commerce, what we're doing here, everybody wants to do. Okay? It, it's legit. It's a legit thing. But I teach beginners. I teach people. In a conversation in an Uber, somebody has enough confidence where they feel they can take action. So I'm in a unique position. For me, I want to teach somebody the basics for them to make their first sales. And if I can get you there, then your confidence will build up and you'll begin learning about all this advanced stuff. And sure, maybe later on you're going to go, I wish I would have known everything up front, mm -hmm. but I'd rather have you making money and learning as you go right. than spending all, time and all the time in the learning curve. You could spend another two to three years in this learning hamster wheel. And an overwhelmed mind does nothing. So this is, this is, my, this is my, my general rule of thumb for everything, going full circle to answer that question there, is I would start with the simplest method possible to make money which would be targeting people in the United States only. I have something to add to that too. It's not, and I've worked with Lawrence Aponte quite a bit. And uh, he's, he, I think he got to about $700,000 and just now went worldwide. He's done that to US. So I guess that's a good, when you, when you get to 700,000, yeah. then it's man out. That's would, a good rule of thumb. <laughs> I think you could go international earlier. Yeah, than you could. But, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying fun, it's funny. It's, and also, he one didn't. of the reasons is, is also because Facebook just made it incredibly easy to go worldwide. Right. When you're placing Facebook ads, they just added a worldwide button now. Yeah. Now you can, before you had to copy and paste all the countries in there and you had to do, or type them in manually. It was a lot more difficult to advertise. But it's a lot, look, we all want to have a global business that we ship products all over the world. But to be honest, it's going to be more expensive and stuff. And um, it's a lot easier just to, products from China to the United States, it's like $4. And you could make ten to twenty dollars from it, or thirty dollars. There's just that's a good enough model. Clear out all the confusion and just do this, okay? So I would start with just the United States. So real quick, free plus shipping, 
I would say go to four items, go to point, 0 0.1 to 1, 0 0.2 to 2, 0 0.3 to 3, 0 0.4 to 4. Okay. That fifth is just for illustration purposes. All right, now let's get into what about if people actually buy a, a real product? A retail product. A retail product. Like not a real product, but they but it's not a free plus shipping offer. Yeah. Okay, now they gotta pay Something shipping. Something that costs money. <laughs> Something costs money. Gotta pay shipping. Go ahead, explain it. Um so I set it up and and you can go I mean, I, I don't even know what the, the limit is that people um, would buy of something, but I think I took that out to like 10. Um, and so you start out with one item, insured shipping, $4.95. And again, like giving them slight breaks as you go, just like we did in the free plus shipping. And so it's one pound to one pound. It, it follows the same exact rule that we did for the free plus shipping. So one pound to one pound, two pound to two pound, you know, two items. And you're just setting your, your um, increasing iterations as you go. Okay. So you went up to 10. Right. Okay. So. Examples. Now, again, she's And not again, I may not, again, don't necessarily copy the numbers because I'm still learning this and I may fiddle with these numbers too and increase them. And there may not be enough margin in, like Chris was saying, to do 10 at 32. Maybe there's not enough. I don't and, know. I have and to I wanted to, I wanted, the reason I wanted to bring her up is because I, I'm always fascinated to learn from people who are in the trenches setting up a brand new store. It reminds me what it's like to be new. If I hang out with experts too long, we forget all the important steps we had to do, we had to learn. So that's why I like, I like coming up, what, where are you in? Like, where's your mind these days? And it's trying to understand shipping. I mean, that's a, that's a key yeah. thing. The idea here is you're going to assign weights to things in your cart. You're going to assign rules that says each product is a pound or whatever amount of weight you want to associate with it. Okay. So these are not free plus shipping items though. So when she says one pound is 4.95 or whatever, that doesn't mean she's only making $4.95. She might be charging $29.95 for that item and $4.95 on top of it. Does that make sense? Yep. So these items, she could be a lot more flexible with shipping. She maybe, she maybe doesn't even need to go up the side. There's, there's ways to do it. Now, what we'll, do, what we'll do is we'll do a separate, I don't want to spend too much time on this. We'll do a separate webinar on this, okay? We'll do a separate webinar. Um, because there's going to also be rules. And also, most people aren't setting up manually. There's apps that do this. But there's going to be rules now that somebody might buy a, an, a free plus shipping item and a regular product item. And that's where you're going to start going into 1.1. OK? We're going to set up more rules for that. Does anybody in here have um, rules that they set up for you? You had rules that you set up. Does anybody, else, anybody here have rules that they've set up where they actually have 1.1, 1.2, anything like that? One, two, three, four, five of you guys. Because um, that's a whole different scenario now. Yeah, do you, do you use better shipping app? What, do you do it manually? You set all the rules yourself? Yeah. Okay. I think a lot of people You have that do. whole set like Lawrence has probably. The, yeah. how, about, about roughly how many, do you have just the three categories? Or how, how deep do you go with your, with your shipping rates? So I'm, just on a guess, you probably have at least the three categories, free plus shipping, Regular shipping and then hybrid, right? The combination of the two. How high do you go on your on your weights? Yeah. So he's essentially got a similar setup, probably different prices, but all he did was he did a combination of setting prices for 1.1. 1.2, so that's like a hybrid. And what, what did you charge for, um, what did you set for shipping? I, it could change, everybody could have different shipping. So on your, like one pound, one, one item insured, when you did 1.1 on yours, uh, roughly what do you have? I think I did 7.95. 7.95, it's kind of like, we'll have to, like, it's weird. It's kind of like, you can't, I can't just tell you all a number to do because it's also going to be based on what type of products you're going to be selling from your store. Like for example, Peter Chan, who I had speak at the event, he, Peter Chan focuses primarily on print on demand products that he sells through Shopify, which is going to be completely different than everybody here. It would make no sense for him to do the same shipping as you. Now, if everybody here did custom jewelry from, Ali, from AliExpress and we're all doing the same kind of price range of free plus shipping offers, it'd be a lot easier, right? How about this? To keep things simple, one 
one overly simplistic way that, that I got started with the very first site was, I didn't ha all I had was free plus shipping offers. That was it. There was nothing but free plus shipping offers. Why, was I leaving money on the table? People could have bought other stuff? No, I just wanted to make a sale. Can I flip a $5 ad to make money, profit? After that, once I'm making money, okay, it's worth me spending an hour to dive in and learn a little bit more about shipping. See how that works? Make money first, figure out as you go.